from here will reach his other arm from this dead angle for him. When our arms move in the middle of his arms like this, we are making it difficult for him to use his arms, forearms or hands, thus not giving him the condition to draw any weapon. We can see this thought in many other forms of ancient warriors. Next, it comes a pressure over his cervical in the form of a lever. Our power here can come from our hands or from our arms solely. Actually, our base has to be very well sustained and all the power comes from the hara, as usual. When we think about the hara, we also have to think about the breathing process. And then the breathing will establish a pole in the hara. Near here, our back remains straight. And then hara initiates all the, the movement. We breathe in, our hara is still relaxed. Then the movement has to be done starting in the hara and reaching our hands. So the contraction starts in the hara and then follows. Our back contracts and the hara uh, sustains our back. Our shoulders contract and our back sustains our shoulder. Our elbow pulls down and our shoulder sustains our elbow. And finally, our hands joint makes our strength focused in just one point. It would come like this. And we begin to study some technique deeper and deeper. You'll see that uh, there are many points that are easier for the UK to run away from our technique. But you're here, and then we reach that arm. If we, if we make just like this, then we we'll lose all the condition that we have that restrain sequentially his possible movements. This point, his wrist was pressed, his elbow was pressed, his shoulder uh, was in a very difficult position to perform any action. When we reach that arm, we should, um, we should keep all these points. We keep his arm still making pressure here, and then here. All those scares actually come because of this level. Actually, cervical it's, it's much more exposed here, and we'd have a much better results if we press from here and from here. From here, he may contract his abdomen and his chest and his shoulder, and then it, it becomes dense. Also, if he contracts his hara and his abdomen, and uh, he, if he tries to lower his, uh, both his elbows, the nose that would become very hard to grab and then to press the circle. Also, when he contracts here, he establishes this angle. And this angle makes it much more difficult for us to perform this level. Even though we're not considering the violence and the physical and mental aspects of the luxation in the shoulder, we should continue to move, keeping all the points of efficiency. So it comes that we are still pressing and we reach this shoulder, and just here we can uh, afford to release this, this hand to here. 